Okay, so getting right into it, um, what's going to happen is all of the objects in my view here are going to be detected. Uh, they will be boxed, labeled, and uh, spoken out. And I'll explain exactly how it's working and what's going on after we uh, watch the demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Guitar. Guitar. Piano. Picture frame. Power plugs and so picture frame. Power plugs and socket window. Okay. So, uh, what you see here is um, I, I took a picture, the HoloLens took a picture from where I was standing. Um, it uploaded it to Object Store and the um, Oracle database. I then issued a command to the Vision AI service to process that image, and it returns a uh, JSON response with the coordinates of the objects it has detected, along with labels and categorization for those objects, okay? And so I'll put in a quick screenshot right here to show you what that looks like in the OCI console. Okay. And um, what I do then is when that's returned to the HoloLens, I take those coordinates and I draw them um, uh, those on this 2D representation that you see here on, um, on this uh, in front of me. So what, um, from that, I then, um, when I took the picture, I recorded the location of the HoloLens. And from that, I do a raycast. So from the, the, the location of the HoloLens when I took the picture, I raycast through this 2D uh, coordinates onto the mesh of the surrounding. Okay, and then I, you know, represent the boxes there. So what you see is, like I say, the raycast coming from here through this to the mesh. Okay, and so this is a, a classic example of uh, mixed reality because it's a mix of the actual real world, the mesh of the room that's recorded by the HoloLens spatially, um, and this overlay of boxes and cubes that I'm putting here. And then you also heard that I have uh, text-to-speech enabled. Um, and so the labels I'm speaking out, and they are um, also um, 3D mapped um, spatially, uh, the audio is. And so you can see this would be a, you know, a valuable uh, potential for vision-impaired, Alzheimer's, autism, etc. cetera. Um, uh, because, like I say, you can walk around and repeat this. And it's also a very efficient uh, method because as you see, all I did was take one 2D picture and from that I can project uh, you know, these 3D um, against the outline of the room and that remains. Um, so, you know, very efficient way to process it and give us this immersion. Okay, this time I'm going to do a demonstration again using Computer Vision AI but this time using uh, document AI. So I'm going to take a picture of what's in front of me and in, in my surroundings. And there's a lot of text, this line of books here. So I'm going to take a picture, send it up to, uh, again, to object storage fronted by the Oracle database, and then instruct it to do some analysis by extracting the text and then feeding it into uh, GPT-3 conversation um, models to be fed back to, you know, be a conversation starter. So let's go ahead and look at the demo of that. This is a screenshot of the OCI console showing the image that was taken by the HoloLens and uploaded to um, fronted by Oracle Database. And it's showing the document AI detecting text. And this is the text that is returned and shown in the demo following. Just takes a second. Okay. So what we see is that it has picked uh, Revitalize Your Life uh, by Jack Delane which is the book we see right here, okay? And as I say, it fed it into these models and comes back with uh, different, uh, you know, conversation starters. So if you're familiar with Jack LaLanne, um, he's, uh, he was big on different juices. Um, and so the first model just literally brings back um, a juice <laughs> recipe, probably one of his own. Um, then this other model shows, you know, some of his philosophy. So this other model shows... Um, you know, his philosophy related to he himself. <laughs> um, and then the, this other model here 
literally just um, talks a little bit about his uh, biography. And so it's very interesting, you know, from your surrounding, and this is just an example I came up with as, you know, a conversation starter, but, you know, just by scanning your surroundings with XR and feeding it into the computer vision AI, you can do this text analysis and, you know, a number of different use cases, but uh, this is just an example of one. Uh.